how does a beloved superstar simply fade into obscurity, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions? Did they choose to vanish, or was there something more sinister at play? Imagine a world where fame and fortune come with an unexpected twist, vanishing from the spotlight, leaving fans and followers in a perplexing haze. Today, we delve into the enigmatic realm of the top 10 blacklisted celebrities who mysteriously disappeared. From Hollywood icons to music legends, these stars once dazzled the world only to slip into the shadows. Stay tuned as we unveil the mysteries behind the top 10 blacklisted celebrities who mysteriously disappeared. Entering the list at number 10, we have Monique, who made waves a year ago by challenging Netflix for unequal pay in her comedy special. This led to a boycott against Netflix, turning down a $500,000 offer while highlighting the vast pay gap, citing Amy Schumer's $13 million deal for perspective. Monique claimed racial bias, leading to a rift with many industry peers. Oprah, once her closest friend, intervened but called Monique negative during an interview, sparking a feud. Since 2016, Monique has remained out of the spotlight. Where is she now? Jared Fogel comes in at number 9. If his name doesn't immediately ring a bell, you might remember him as the man who appeared in almost every Subway commercial. He served as the company's official salesperson. That was his real work, sort of. With the help of Subway sandwiches, he lost a good deal of weight and was able to land this sweet job. His success in losing weight made him the face of every company's marketing campaign starting in 2000 and continuing through 2015. His face was all over the place, but then abruptly that changed and he essentially vanished. It made sense though once we discovered why. Perhaps some had seen that he was no longer the face of Subway and questioned why until headlines came out saying that he was charged for child pornography and paying for sex with minors. He pleaded guilty to his charges and was sentenced to 15 years in federal prison. Jared agreed to pay a total of $1.4 million in restitution to 14 different victims. And on top of that, the judge fined him $175,000. Since then, his disappearance is no longer a mystery and he is now behind bars. At number 8, we have Stacey Dash, famous for her role in Clueless. Her conservative political views led to her blacklisting in Hollywood. She even authored a book titled There Goes My Social Life from Clueless to Conservative about her experience. It all started with a tweet during the Barack Obama election where she supported Romney. This caused her to be dropped by agents and stop auditioning. Recently, she re-emerged in the headlines but for less favorable reasons. Her arrest for domestic battery involving a male. Her situation has taken a downturn. Securing the seventh spot is James Franco. His blacklisting isn't a secret. In 2014, he made headlines when screenshots revealed him trying to rent a hotel room with a 17-year-old girl. Despite the scandal, his career continued. However, in 2018, wearing a Time's Up pin at the Golden Globe Awards led to allegations of sexual misconduct. Women shared stories of his misconduct using the hashtag Time's Up pin. Since then, he's been missing from the scene with small self-produced projects. His recent film Zeroville was a major box office flop, earning only $8,000 in its US opening week. Taking the sixth spot is Roseanne Barr, the actress known for her ABC show Roseanne. Her career took a nosedive due to a single tweet. Roseanne, a known Trump supporter, posted a controversial tweet in May 2018, comparing Valerie Jarrett to the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes. ABC swiftly cancelled her show, which was set for a reboot. Since January this year, her Twitter account has been inaccessible, and she relocated to her mother's basement 
in an attempt to avoid public scrutiny. Although she's been keeping a low profile, paparazzi managed to capture a disheveled image of her outside her home in Salt Lake City, Utah just a few months ago. Landing at number 5, we have Brendan Fraser, once a major Hollywood star a decade ago. For those who grew up in the 90s, he's known for films like The Mummy Franchise, George of the Jungle, and Looney Tunes. However, after 2008, he vanished from prominent movie roles with speculations of a drug addiction. Years later, he revealed the real reason behind his disappearance, an incident of sexual assault. He claimed to have been physically groped by Philip Burke, a former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Despite Burke's denial, he sent Fraser an apology letter after Fraser reported the incident to the HFPA. Since sharing his story, he has gradually returned to acting, but mostly keeps a low profile. He's settled in New York, living in a house overlooking a farm, frequently traveling between home and Toronto. He enjoys spending time with his horses, far removed from the Hollywood lifestyle. Before we proceed to the next one, you may want to hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it. Let's move on. Now at number 4, we have Paula Dean. She was a familiar face on the Food Network for years until a lawsuit filed by her former general manager, Lisa Jackson, accused the celebrity chef of racial discrimination. Jackson claimed that Paula used racial slurs when referring to African Americans. During an interview, when asked about using such language, Paula confirmed, saying it was just in the context of jokes that targeted various groups. This led to networks worldwide cancelling her TV shows and stores discontinuing her products. She retweeted from the public eye but resurfaced with insensitive comments about the late Food Network star chef Carl Ruiz. When asked about his death, Paula responded by making light of it, saying, You know, they say the restaurant business will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a tough... No it, her comment was poorly received, keeping her blacklisted. Securing the third spot is J.D. Salinger, the famous author of The Catcher in the Rye. He passed away in 2010 at the age of 91. But before that, his career took a different turn, leading to his seclusion, which remained unknown to many. In 2013, authors Shane Salerno and David Shields published Salinger, a book that unveiled the author's complex life and revealed some heartbreaking stories. It came to light that he had never discussed his experiences in World War II and had checked himself into a mental institution upon returning to help cope with the trauma he had witnessed during the war. After leaving the institution, he re-enlisted in the army and was involved in the denazification of Germany. However, due to this, some publishers rejected his work, assuming he was mentally unstable. This judgment deeply wounded him ultimately driving him into a life of isolation. He withdrew from the public eye and lived a highly private existence. After learning this story, many readers may develop a greater appreciation for the catcher in the rye. In second place, we have Lalaine, a beloved Disney star from Lizzie McGuire. Fans wondered about her disappearance when she didn't appear in the series' final episodes or the movie. Her character's absence was explained as a family vacation in Mexico, but the real reason was her arrest and guilty plea for crystal meth possession, a fact she managed to keep hidden. Headlines emerged when a warrant was issued for her arrest, leading to a felony charge for missing court. After resolving her legal issues, she took on a regular job in LA to make ends meet. With the recent Lizzie McGuire reboot announcement, Fans are curious if she'll return, but only time will tell. Securing the top spot is Richard Simmons, the energetic exercise guru. He led his last exercise class in 2014 and hasn't made any public appearances since. In fact, he walked out of his Beverly Hills studio and essentially vanished for over three years. 
a podcast called Missing Richard Simmons emerged, suggesting he was being held hostage by his housekeeper in his Hollywood Hills home, or that he might be undergoing a gender transition. These speculations swirled, but in June 2019, fitness friend Billy Blanks expressed his belief that Richard might stage a comeback. However, Richard's representative chose not to comment on this. At 70 years old, perhaps it's time to let the man enjoy some sweet, well-deserved rest. And that wraps up our list. We'd love to hear your opinions on this, so please, share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.